All right, and we are live, I believe. Hold on. Live from New York, it's Sunday night with everybody's favorite brothers. It's Two Bro Smoke. We are in the house again. You know who it is. It's your boy, Timmy Turner, and I got my boy, you know who Baby is. Powder. <laughs> Tell him what's up, man. Yeah, man, it's Powder in the building. It's excited to powder get in, in the this building. episode. I'm excited for this episode, man. We uh, have our first live guest on. Uh, Going to be hosting Honeycomb Hydro's one and only, Mike Camp. Tell them what's up, man. Hey, guys. Uh, Mike Camp here, Honeycomb Hydro, Canna Camp. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, looking forward to Two Bros Smoke, where you guys are going with things. Uh, your layout's phenomenal. Your focus is on genetics, which is the core of growing. So... Looking to grow stronger together with you guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. We're really uh, grateful you would come on the show. You know, we're going to get down into some uh, questionnaires. First, I want to let everybody know we're going to be doing a uh, giveaway. It's going to start out at 10 uh, live viewers. So as soon as we get 10 people on the live, my boy Mike's going to be doing some crazy giveaways. So let's see how many people we can get in there, you know. So started to start doing your invites now. Need to see if we can rack up. And uh, on the show, I'm just gonna just kind of interview, you know, see what's going on, see who you are, where you're from, what you do, you know. So uh, your name's Mike Kent. Where are you from, man? Uh, I'm just south of Chicago, born in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, and uh, pretty much Midwest my, most of my life. All right, so we got a boy from the uh, the Midwest team in the show today, and I know you're running the uh, the Honeycomb Hydro. Uh, tell them what all your you know like your uh, your statement is as a company. What do you bring to the table as far as product and you know w- w- what is your reputation founded on here? Uh, the, when it comes to the basics in the cannabis world, genetics foundational is the genetics. So Honeycomb Hydro was encouraged by sadly the loss grandpa you know, my brother's grandpa and he had a honeybees and it was to honor him and so honeycomb hydro came out uh, i was gorilla growing at the time and worked on a bunch of strains and stabilized stuff original seeds came from like uh, nirvana seeds got them back in 02 so it was some of the older original seeds that came out uh, and yeah just focused in, focused in on great medicine stuff that worked for me that was uh you know the quality without the crazy prices that were out there. I uh, then turned into the marketing aspect and setting up events to get cannabis companies involved and Honeycomb Hydro's, uh, you know, working to be a vertically integrated marketing company, but with also its own intellectual property from the strains that it's created and the marketing and branding that's incorporated into those strains. Nice. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up right there. Uh, I know you are a businessman. That's the the one the big thing I took from meeting you and the, the bit we've talked about things. This man is truly a businessman when it comes down to it. You know, he really gets all the, the technical side of things because, you know, a lot of people have great ideas, but how you're going to execute that great idea, that's a whole nother story. You know what I mean? And I really, really love this man's plan. He really sees the future in things. I really see it going somewhere, and uh, I got I got to give it up. The genetics, they they burn mailboxes up all across this country. Like we need to have a fire department just to put out the mailboxes you've set on fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they're just uh, they're amazing. Yeah. Tell them tell them some of your your current line. You know the stuff that you've been releasing with the uh, the high gores and the uh, jawbreakers. Man, I'm a big fan of the uh, the jawbreakers. Yeah, um, jawbreaker is fruity pebble OG. Uh, everybody has Fruity Pebble OG, so it was originally, I got a couple batches of Fruity Pebble from Ethos, uh, different years, and then ran them against each other, pulled the best male out, uh, there was like six males, which was awesome, uh, pulled, pulled the best one out of, well, two of the best, but the one that I deemed the best, which was accurate, the other seeds didn't turn out to anything contesting, um, that is Jawbreaker, uh, in the world, everybody has Fruity Pebble. So you got to get away from that and be able to differentiate between what's what. Uh, the sad part is, the with lack of federal regulation, is what you got Fruity Pebble OG? Who really knows? Uh, can you get great stuff outside of Honeycomb Hydro? Hell yeah. Is its name still Fruity 
have a low G for now until it gets regulated more to where you can't have anything of any kit stuff. Uh, it'd be interesting once it hits there with a monster like cookies, right? Uh, it's already branded. It is cook- the branding aspect of it. Uh, there was one cookie store that makes five hundred thousand dollars a day of merchandise and apparel. I believe why are there it not too. more? Why are there not more like that? Right? He's going to be running into his own where they can take care of the legalities of things because it's child based. But he's got a cookie blue patented. So now they're suspensing to this intellectual property and the branding that he's ahead of the game. But he'll still be spending a bunch of time in litigation, but he'll most likely win. Right? So it's getting yeah. ahead of all that. Right? They're going to be taking away certain names and adjectives that you can't use because it's going to be geared towards children. Right? And when it gets federally regulated, they're gonna, there's the scrutiny on that's going to be insane. All the way, you know, don't be surprised. It's, uh, strain GXB12765, right? Because then there is no connection to something. But that's years and years down the road. So as of now, Fruity Pebble OG is Jawbreaker. He's a dragon. And then what I cross Jawbreaker with, uh, like I got him with Space Dust from North Genetics. Uh, That's Jawbreaker Dust. I got some nine-pound hammer dosi breath from a good friend in uh, California that he's been growing for years and years and years. Uh, sadly, he's no longer with us to find out exactly where it came from. All I know is that it is phenomenal. So I crossed it, you know, and, and that's the goal. The Fruity Pebble OG that got pollen from the original the back cross and all kinds of fun things that in the world of F1s and F2s are the first generation, second generation of seeds. They're, in my opinion, the strongest, the, the most vigorous. You're, you're going to get some of the most elite genetics out of it, especially the F1s. And then the F2s, uh-huh. you get the biggest range. And you can find that one special phenol where there's Josie Cut Gorilla Glue. That's the Gorilla Glue, right, in the world of Gorilla Glues. Okay? My Gorilla Glue is high gore. Because everybody's got Gorilla Glue. So I call it a high gore is the Gorilla Glue. I've got them crossed with Raspberry Cough, Aurora uh, Indica, Lithium OG, Somango XXL, Jack Herrera, and quite a few others. Now, the four seeds that have been released and out are the Raspberry High Gore, Mango High Gore, Lithium High Gore, and then uh, Base High Gore sold out so fast it was ridiculous. So it's going through and recreating the, the F1s, the F2s, and the different strains, but those also come with, you know, the swag to, to represent what you're doing. So we've got shirts and locking in with... Uh, working on some contracts with Grove Bags and a couple other marketing companies that produce and have their own products. Like uh, Grove Bag is www.grovebag.com. Grove Bags with an S. Uh, they do turp lock bags. So it's bags that you can put your, your product in. Uh, they claim six months that it can have the shelf life. Uh, when I went to Canacon, there was a guy there. Uh, he's saying, no, it's two years. He's done a wow. bunch of batch tips. And the guy was like, are you sure? He goes, well, you just smoked it in the parking lot. And he goes, yeah, that was pretty. That was two years? He goes, that was two <laughs> years? And it's like, only in Canacon can a conversation like that happen from the podium to the crowd, right? Yeah. And, and that's what's great about cannabis because, yeah, he learned something right there. But they do they do grinders. They do trays. They do all the little stuff that people want, right? And when it's a strain that they love and it loves them back, they will buy everything to represent it because it means that much to them. You know, people yeah. look at it, oh, it's a merchandise, it's this, it's that. It is that, but it's also on a memorabilia aspect and on a branding level that you, you don't buy Nikes because the fabrics are made out of. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's that simple. So. Yeah. Sure, man. Looks like well, you definitely it... bring something different to the table, and I really like that you put real artwork behind, you know, your strains and stuff. You don't just get, like, a, a cheap image. Like, you really go in, and, you know, th- this artwork is real artwork, you know? It's not just generic, you know? No, and, and that's the branding part of it. It's huge. And, you know, sadly, like, the artwork that I sent you that you're showing on here, uh, so I was been posting on Facebook to get some... Uh, other people up in here um 
like the original artwork was Michael Barron. And uh, he does comic stuff, amazing artwork. That's where they originally came from. But when it comes to the business side of it, go get investors. That, that's what gets trademarked. That's the intellectual property. Those concepts and logos, the, inv- the, tra- the investors, that's what they want to own. Yeah. It's not necessarily it's not the event, it's not the engagement, it's, it, it's that physical thing that represents what their money is being invested into, so in the end, they have something that's physically at work, right? When yeah, because even if you left the picture, they still got the image, you know? Correct, correct. So it's having things like that. So those had to get, we had to rebrand already. You know, in 90 days, all this stuff happens, and because of lack of due diligence of finding out all the specifics on my end, it, it, it is, it can't be the way it was and had to change, you know, but it's being the, the having the communication about the issues and I went to Aaron and told him, Hey, this is what this is. You want ownership. So I'm not even going to offend to say, what do you want for him? Because that's not how he is. And he understood a hundred percent. And I'm sending the logos to him to see, you know, what do you think, dude? Is this acceptable? You know, he's like, no, the artist you got is, he's amazing. You know, keep, keep doing on it. And me and him remain friends and he'll still be drawing stuff. And yeah, the world continues to move forward. But that branding and having the ownership of it without it, you're just spinning your wheels. So, yeah. but then it just shows in business. You, when you separate feelings of, personal from business then you can move forward because shit happens it killed me to not be able to use my guys drawings I can't and he understands and that's how it should be we've we've smoked together since (laughs) so and and that's one fun part with cannabis is you can actually get a little bit more reasoning and understanding out of individuals because they have a substance to allow them to slow down just think about it so you're saying that's that's a good marketing strategy is to keep one rolled, eh? Um, absolutely. So we call it step one. Um, some of our Canada Camp members, uh, Lori to be specific, she, I've caught her on step 100 and stuff. Now, who knows what she is? She's lost count. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's done step one 25 times before, you know. Hey, can I? It's just that how far was We got major pains and ailments and you know, internal hate towards oneself and all kinds of issues that cannabis cures. You know? Yeah. So it's utilizing the plant therapy, having the right medicine. And that's where, like with the high gores, it's your hybrids. It's got some hybrid sativa dominant, some hybrid indigo dominant, great terpene profile, nice, awesome yield, resilient plants. They're great for fish growers and, and 20 year vets because the plan is what it is. But a lot want that indigo. That's where Jawbreaker came from. Jawbreaker's crossed so far with almost everything indigo. Yeah. All been indigo. It's indigo times indigo to get that, that medicinal side. And now I'm locking in with a new company that's an inoculant that uh, is, increases vegetative growth, but also increases on a molecular level CBG and CBD and does not affect THC and it's producing medicine that like he sent me a video kid in a mid seizure and they rubbed it on his foot. It was like one of those, you know, liquid things in a container with a ball at the end. Right. And he yeah, yeah, yeah. rubbed it on his kid's foot in mid seizure. And within 10 seconds, the seizure stops type stuff. It's on a medicinal level it is unreal. So I'm working in some like, really intricate stuff on a biomolecular level that will help all the new growers all of the you know big thing is uh, like vets ptsd they don't need any stresses from the plant they have enough you shouldn't have be growing medicine that causes you the issues that you're dealing with that you need to treat with the medicine that shouldn't be the issue but it exists a lot and it's it's to incorporate it to get away from this. Only way to do it, on the market with good genetics. 
Yeah, for I sure. So, uh, so you've made a statement oh. on who you are. If people wanted to find you, because I know we're on YouTube right now. I know you mentioned you have the page Cannon Camp. And uh, where all else can people find you right now if they're interested in, you know, if they want to look you up, get in contact with you, even get involved with, you know, purchasing some of your genetic stuff like that? How can they find you, man? Um, got multiple websites, honeycombhydro.com. And we've got canacamp.com, which goes to the Wix page, only a little, our own little forum and many Instagram, many Facebook there going through Wix. Uh, we've got a big event going on right now. I have folks come on the Freak Shell cultivar that is humble, originated, looks like a fern. A lot of people have heard about it. A lot have not seen it or had the opportunity to get it because it's sold out. And pretty much I think almost everywhere else you can get Freak Show seeds, they are not available at the moment. But they are at thefreakoff.com. So doing a growing competition based on Freak Shell. Uh, it's all theme based, like all the other events that we have. This one's going to be a 16 one, week one that's going to actually have multiple themes because we're rolling through Christmas. We're rolling through Halloween before that. We've got uh, uh, the seeds are actually getting dropped on 9 11. Uh, so we do a little uh, memorial. I'm very focused on veteran things. Uh, they fight for our freedom. You know, it's sure. that simple. We wouldn't have the ability to smoke cannabis as medicine. If it weren't for every vet that died for us before this, you know, it's all the events that led to this that are important and they continue to fight onward. You know, like they fought for us and fighting for them. VAs don't pay. Yeah. Yeah. VAs don't pay for cannabis for medicine, but they'll give them money to go get on opiates and go get on other medications and give them side effects and make them kill themselves. You know, yeah. Is that the only reason that's killed themselves? No, but it's a big, big uh, variable in it. Why I think it, I think the number is what, thirteen a day? It might be more than that. Twenty one a day. I haven't looked at the statistic of how many vets commit suicide a day, but it's double digits, and that's wow. crazy. When you could just let them smoke their weed, pay for their weed, you pay for their opiates, just pay for their weed, you pay for their Paxil, you'll pay for all these other. Just just pay for the cannabis, pay for the real medicine. So even in the ones that it's legal states, it's not quite there yet. It's close. It's getting there. But, you know, it, you just got to continue to fight the fight. So if you have genetics that help, they tell another. You, you're able to, to, like you said, get them in mailboxes. I couldn't tell you, but by 100,000 seeds have been sent out. You know, wow. some purchased, most given, most given away. Yeah, I know uh, my first seeds that I got from you, I wanted to give away. I actually was over on the uh, Arizona Growers Group, the Growers Resource Group. I won a little giveaway. It was the first giveaway I'd ever won on Facebook. And I was sitting there the whole time. I'm like, I don't know these dudes. I doubt they're really going to send me something. <laughs> like three days later, I'm like, oh, shit, here it is, you know. And I was just like, yeah. you know, I've been a fan ever since, you know. Oh, so you, you won on uh, Memorial Day. Yes, yes, actually, it was Memorial Day. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I did all the networking with the groups and the different groups and got packs out to other groups, you know, systematically when the events, you know, because I had to coordinate when they were growing and when they were doing stuff. You know, like a bunch of people in Canada, uh, Dr. Doug's Nursery is one of them. He's growing some raspberry high right right? Uh, I got him those seeds uh, October last year, something like that. You know what I mean? Because people have growth schedules. They're, they're growing their medicine. They're doing certain things. A lot of us breeders and cannabis enthusiasts have who knows how many seeds and strains from everywhere. So it's being grown in a, another person's grow off, especially like during like the freak off and then putting freak show in there. It's a fucking honor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Let's talk about that some more, man. Uh, that's something I really want to highlight on the show. You know, you got your new event, the freak off coming, man. Things are getting freaky, and I, I didn't even think about it going through uh, Halloween. What better time of the year to have it, really? You know? Oh yeah, no, absolutely. And and the fun part is that that's when we're kicking the lights. So you're gonna kick the lights on Halloween. You have it till midnight. 
well, 11.59, so if people, you know, want to shave 12 hours and do it at the very end because that'll benefit or do it at the very beginning, it's all really up to them. You got to do it live. Um, you need to do it live, dude. Have a fucking uh, uh, a countdown. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, and I'm looking at doing a, a Halloween con- a costume contest. So you know, dress up in your Halloween costume and take a picture with your freak show, and uh, yeah, get it posted on the Freak Off twenty 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 one on Instagram, and everything's gonna be coordinated and voted through Instagram, through likes, comments, and saves. And we'll be able to let the people decide. So how the freak off is, it's entry $65 for registration. Uh, with that, you're getting five freak shelves, maximum feeds to drop, grow, and be involved in the grow off. Uh, there's going to be around, it's an estimated 10,000 in prizes. It's, it hasn't even started and we're, we're almost halfway there. So it could be 20,000 in it's 16 weeks. So as the momentum grows, more there's companies that are sitting back to watch to see what exactly it is because I'm brand new to them. They didn't see the 710 scavenger hunt. They didn't see the 420 scavenger hunt. They've got the metrics. They like the metrics. They like the Facebook page. They like everything about it. Yeah. Right? But it, it, it's, it is what it is. So a lot of these, they're waiting until their quarterly, anyway, their quarterly meeting, what they have for the remaining of the year from the process they've made from that they didn't anticipate from the business end of it so there's normally room after your quarterly meeting to go in and invest in something yeah and then i'm also hitting them for the great american Grow next year but the freak off it's just the the headliner of the grow offs honeycomb hydro is going to be doing multiple grow offs the great american grow off will be going off two times a year all the time so there'll always be some type of grow off on the background running and pretty much 20, all year round. And so tell me, just, like, it, uh, what what's the uh, the how does it work with the tiers? I know you got like beginner and uh, expert. You know how does all that work? What's the uh, you know what levels or whatever do you have? Word, we try to stay clear of the word expert because normally those that say that they're an expert in it uh, are full of shit. There's stuff that you don't. Want. So we like to call it advanced. But yeah, there's advanced, intermediate, and beginner. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, that's really a, a dual-edged sword there. One, what does the grower consider themselves? Right? So you got to start off with that. What, what does the person consider themselves? Right? And a lot of them will ask, well, I've been growing this many years, and I've been doing this, and I've been doing that. And then I'll respond with, because there's different categories in each one. Most of them have somewhat of the same, right? Weight, uh, people's choice, which is going to be voting on pictures. All right. Um, the nominations of those are, we've got a panel of 15 judges right now. I've got another 10 that have reached out uh, across the, the nation uh, and in Canada and some pretty big names too to get involved just to get their perspective, to pick their can of contender. And those will be the original picks. Those picks get put to uh, Instagram, and the people get a vote. Uh, the beginners, most improved is the category that I'm really looking forward to. Most That's, improved. Yeah. And you're talking on somebody like uh, they fucked up germination because they're a beginner, right? It's possible. We're human, so it comes with that human error. But they don't give up. And they end up producing a plant that is competitive with, say, the biggest baddest, something like that. You know, it happens, too. Like, you see that all the time. The little engine that could that comes back, and it actually beats the ones that were healthy the whole entire time, you know? No, and it's the level of the genetics within can handle it. But then that that barrier, that line you don't want to cross, dressing to stunting. If you stress it, it's a good thing. If you stunt it, it's not. Yeah. And each plant has its own threshold. So, and you can start it in the, in the very, very beginning with some. You know, I know people that'll start like stressing the plant and pulling it down and, and shaping it four or five days out of the soil. It's dangerous because you can snap your stems, but it, when it works, you can't snap those stems later. You, you've got it. I mean, you can literally step on the thing and it'll just 
laugh at you because wow. it's already been conditioned. So it's just, you know, they're getting into the science of it, and everybody has it known, and that's why we grow to, we work together to grow stronger together. So everybody's got their own little techniques. Some, and that's just the event. You got to share pictures and stuff. You don't have to share your techniques. Um, I'm going to take a dab and then I'm going to talk about the pictures. A lot of people's worries. All right. Well, while we're in that little break, I'll point out we actually have hit seven viewers currently. Cool. Cool. Glad to have all seven of you live. Yeah. 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 Let's, let's get them in here. Shout outs, Carmen and uh, Lori Bell. They were here pretty early on. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Mike Jones. He's here. Mike Jones. Yeah. Mike. <laughs> Can't, cannot wait for the Mike Jones episode. Yeah, yeah. We were uh, Mike, actually uh, talking to him. Who? He was on the who? live the other day to promote this show. And we actually uh, were talking about doing those uh, those crazy episodes. Yeah, Mike. Bro. That's going to be something, man. L- Lori That's says she time. needs a, uh, a show as well. Well, get with us, oh, yeah. Lori. We can promote whatever you got going on too. You know, oh, just get with us. She is, she is so much fun, guys. She is, uh, she's amazing. Uh, she she loves you. She promotes you. She stands by you. Uh, I was reaching out to Fish Shit. Right, the reason Fish Shit's involved is because of Lori. <laughs> he didn't respond to me, but the emails that she sent him because she got some sample and it. It just changed her grow, right? She yeah. emailed them and emailed them and emailed them and emailed them and was polite and sometimes not as polite because she's truthful and I, it's awesome, right? And when I went to Canacon and they are there, and I said 710 scavenger hunt, you should have seen the look on, it, on Tom's face. It's awesome. And, <laughs> oh, so you're the guy. I said, wait, you got a lot of emails from a chick named Lori? He goes, dude. I said, Bro, you should have just responded. <laughs> and uh, and he just laughed about it. And he's like, what, "What? So what is it?" And I told him, and he's like, "So she's not part like of, of the I'm like of the admin side? No, she was a participant and became <laughs> part of the family. Yeah, and, and and loved your stuff so much that she wanted to end the, these events because it fits. It's what we're about. We're about the same things about growing stronger together." And she's able to do that with this shit. Perfect. But don't stop that, Lori. And she doesn't. She advocates. But here's the thing. It's a lot of people in any industry, in any business, they're very selfish with their connections. They're very selfish with their own success. They try to keep it as theirs. Right? I don't, I work different. Like yeah. I told Lori, she's, she she was like, man, I want these products, and I, I wish I could get a discount. Well, use what we're doing. Use the 710 Scavenger Hunt. Use Canna Camp. It's your group. They they say you need X amount of following. There's a lot of sponsors that weren't involved, that they will be in the Great American Grow Off, because it is what it is. It, but because they, they come through, it was in Canna Camp, didn't have a 1,000 following, right? I think we were at like 700. And they're saying, oh... We need at least 1,500. Yeah. I'm like, but we're collaborating with sh- companies that have over multiples that have quarter million following on Instagram. How big do they need to be? I don't understand. And they're like, no, the personal group that you represent. Uh, yes, I'm a marketing company representing a collective of groups. And in combined is, is a million outreach without blinking an eye. Now, that's just members, a lot of cost members and other ones because it's cannabis products that are quality, that support each other. So they're already in together with each other, right? And, yeah. and, and three, three people may, it's probable to be just one. But still with that, how big of a group do you need light company? Soil company, nutrient company that's expensive as hell. You work you're expensive right and, and then because of that frictional part it, it it made me do you know inwardly look of what is you know really who really needs to help it's those same people at the ground those other companies that do have you know 10,000 following 10,000 is 80% south or that group that has 150 
because it's 100 percent right there's awesome product coming out everywhere it's, it's the people that make it the companies themselves and who who's the money back to it what's their real purpose and not everybody's for people profit. and that's what business is it's profit without profit business doesn't exist but yeah. there's ways to maintain profit on a scale where uh, there's still savings for the consumer. You just make less. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So what, Honeycomb Hydro, because I, what I did is you go and set stuff up and I got, you get discount codes for everybody. You encourage sales to these other websites. It's a point of marketing and advertising. So they make sales. You get in front of the people and you make sales for them because they've got the quality product that they want all right it's one thing just, about the uh the fish shit i really want to give a, a shout out to them because uh they just took a big loss the other day you know uh their their main founder you know passed away so just want to give a big know. shout out to them you know i know they're probably going through a little tough times you know i believe you know nothing's probably going to happen with the business they're going to keep on pushing forward but i know they lost a big part of the business you know as far as the, you know the people, you know, the other day. So I just want to give a shout out to them. Condolences to y'all out there, you know, at Fish Shit. And appreciate y'all still holding it down, you know. Yeah, that, uh, I was not aware of that. That's sad to hear. Yeah, I just didn't want to mention them without mentioning that. You know, like, I'm not trying to, like, put all their stuff on blast no, or nothing. I feel just like a dick. <laughs> no, 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 dude. I'm, I'm dude, you dude. Said man. All we're talking oh, about yeah. how is how great the product is, but yeah, the old man he he passed away the other day, unfortunately. Unless I seen a bunch of hoax stuff, but I'm pretty sure I didn't, you know. But yeah, yeah, it was just like last week or so, you know. It was it's very recent, but yeah, I just want to give a shout out to them. I actually got linked up through them, uh, through my boy uh, Gilf over at Gardens by Gilf. He was working with them some, you know, he's from the uh, the New England states, you know, kind of up there where they're around and everything. And he got me linked in with them, got me a free sample of their stuff. And uh, it's great. I really got to say it is expensive. It is very expensive, but it's it's very great. You know, I really like what they do, you know, as far as it being all natural, organic, too, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, we are how many subscribers, baby powder, you it's going on there. Uh, we're still watch. sitting steady at the seven current live mine's, viewers. Mine's just eight now. Uh, hey, you guys live. Go ahead and uh, let's, let's, because sometimes, at least anything I'm involved with, it, it like lies to me. It's ridiculous. Facebook hates me. So those that are live, go ahead and put hashtag, I'm here. I-M-H-E-R-E. -E. I'm here. So we can get a count and verify. Cause mine's showing eight. And uh, then after you do that, Go ahead and invite all kinds of people in here. Share it on the group. Here's a link. You know, go ahead and check this out. And as soon as we hit 10, I'm going to give away a pack of free shows, freak show seeds and an entry into the freak off. So let's get 10 people in here and give away. Yeah. Some, let's get freaky, guys. Let's get freaky. Yeah, I mean, just two people away if we're already at eight. Come on, two people. Two people away, shit. E even if y'all got to go make Easy. a fake account real quick. Get on in here. No, I'm kidding, but seriously, no, get two then, people and in why, here. Why you, yeah, and while you guys are going and biting and staring, it gives us an opportunity for shout-out to the other sponsors that are involved, at least for me. Uh, yeah. Now we got Homegrown Cannabis Co. They've been supporting, like, everything, giving out awesome strains, providing some amazing uh, content, Kyle Cushman. And his podcast and the information that they give. Uh, I love people. Kyle Cushman. They're a phenomenal company. I can't wait to go to Amsterdam and go to their, their, their dispensary. You know, it, it'll be phenomenal. And that time will come. So shout out to Homegrown Cannabis Co. Chronic, he uh, runs his Facebook page, does digital marketing stuff for them. So shout out to him. Our genuine homegrown hero came from Twisted Growth, John Anderson. Uh, he's growing, testing, and now he's a general manager for Tesla. Oh. That's fucking impressive That's shit. That's wild. He's the first male genuine homegrown hero, and now he's a general manager for Tesla. And he's only been there maybe two months. It's because Elon so, caught him smoking a blunt, 
And then he like okay, hit it, right. and dude had the, the best stuff, dude. <laughs> and, then, and then Eli was like, oh, shit, I can go to space while standing in the parking lot? You're my new best friend. And then they started practicing karate. Probably how it went down. That, that's when Elon figured out that Joe Rogan was full of shit. Because he's like, man, this stuff hits twice <laughs> as hard as that last one, dude. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Mike Jones said he got a small circle. I'm going to leave that one alone, Jones. Mike Jones! <laughs> yeah, that's my boy, man. I've known Mike pretty much my whole life, for real. So any more shout outs? Uh, let's, let's do the shout out train, dude. I oh, like yeah, to do no, this, yeah, I man. Got, I got, I got, I got, I got wandered off. Uh, we got Foop Organic. Uh, Larry, owner of Foop, awesome, or awesome product. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, right you've there been telling the, me about that. China. I want to try some of that. Well, and then what's fun is now then the fish shit's getting involved, and it's not of one's better than the other. Some people prefer Coke, some people prefer Pepsi. Right, it's great to have the option of Coke or Pepsi. Okay, yeah. right. Um, and then some people like RC Cola. It is what it just it's each is its own, and and, and that's the mindset that's got to be looked at. They're not competition. We can utilize the products for the same goals the companies are going for, and this is the purpose of these grow offs. When it comes in of the great American grow off, there's going to be products out the ass, and the more products purchase to have a higher control variable, right? We're, we're having as many controls as possible to test the grower's level of being the grower and the geographic location and all kinds of levels of testing that is involved in happening simultaneously while people are growing. But they're not thinking about that part because normally it's stressful enough just to grow the plant and it shouldn't be, right? Some yeah. people are better off not knowing. That all oh, oh you're just wanting information. Fuck yeah. It's all about information to make better strains. If I got a specific strain that does great in a set out elevation in Canada because of the light cycle as opposed to in Mexico, that's good to know. Right? People don't understand. Oh, yeah. New York City diesel. New York City diesel came from the Emerald Triangle. It was driven out there. In the event that I went to with me and my brother, I met the guy that biked it out there. He was patched into the Hells Angels. That he so, oh, wow. There's a, there's a lot of elements that people have no idea that happens in the background. And what led to what? Well, the East Coast New York diesel, which is unreal. Great sativa, great turf profile. People love it. Right, it's a staple in, in the sativa side, in my opinion. Oh yeah, and for it sure. came from the Emerald Triangle. It just grows different on the East Coast. What else grows different? We're in a world that everybody's gonna hide it from all of them. Well, well, let's capitalize in what's the legal states, and if it, you know, and get what information we can. Canada's a legal country, so I love that. Canada's great. They can do all kinds of things because it's recreational. It's got its own bullshit because it comes with the territory. It's a lot of money to be made. Bullshit comes with it. Oh, yeah. That's how you deal with it, you know? And it's just, it's, uh, while everybody's busy with the distractions of all that, fight for all those other things, fighting against each other, this community's been set to encourage those of the same even in competition to be better because of the competition both get better right and it's possible and you'll have other people do it for you and you both make sales and people test it for you somebody's gonna lose that's the thing and a lot of companies are afraid of that. These big dogs that need so many people with numbers and all this other stuff to get in because you've got the following already. Yeah. Well, it's like this. Branding-wise, quality-wise, which company's brand do you think's worth more? Mercedes-Benz or Kia? <laughs> it's Kia. Really? Okay. Yes. Oh, now wow. there would be a debate. It'll be a debate in the branding world of it, dude. It's Kia. 
it's wild. It's a perspective that people don't look at because they don't know all the internal workings. And on a branding side of what they own and their numbers, their costs are so much lower and the quality of product there is higher. All right, it's showing we hit 10. We hit 10, yo. Oh, we got 10 live. Hashtag 10 live, so... And yeah, one let's of you guys are going to win. I got to get my marker. Here's a notebook. I'm going to write it down. I'm looking at the live uh, people in the comments. And, yeah, let's get freaky is the the post. And you guys go ahead and uh, I'm interested in you – no, know, you guys, a lot of these people are new. we got 11 now. Perfect. Get more in. Uh, as long as they're coming in and hashtagging while I'm writing, I'll keep writing. We can roll to 30. We'll give away three. If we hit 20, we're giving away two. Nice. If we hit 50. If we hit 50, I'll give away 10 entries for 50 live. Damn. 10 people will be getting in and to win all these prizes. And all the fun awesomeness. And that's how we roll. So there's our goals. We like to set goals to achieve them. Our hashtag should be let's get freaky and that gets you your entry into the giveaway. Man, they the, better get uh, their entries in, man. That's the call. serious prizes. We got we got twelve. Here's the thing, the people have to leave to invite. So they gotta go, they're leaving and going out. At least that's how it is in Facebook. So Craig Carmen, we got you in as number one. CC, you're number one. Let's get freaky, guys. Let's get freaky. But, yeah, so if it comes to it. I don't know if YouTube's the same live. I'm guessing it is. Uh, but, yeah, when they leave and then come back, it uh, to share it, it, it sometimes kicks them out. And then I also don't know what the delay is. Do you? Uh, it's actually uh, only, like, a second or two. It's not very bad at all. All right, cool. Because I got my sound off on my not a bounce back and forth thing going on. Yeah. Let's get freaky, guys. Uh, that's the hashtag, and then get your entry. And then I'll be doing. I'm gonna go live on Canna Camp. Or actually, no, I'll do live on the Freak Off. There we go. I'll go live in the Freak Off on Facebook, pub, the public Facebook page, and do the random number generator to show who wins, so you guys can have uh, real time. Who won? And that's how we uh, cover our ass. People know we ain't messing around. Yeah, they're legitimate. I won from them, so I'm sure that you know you'll win too. So okay. make sure you get your entries Just in. You know, I'm gonna go through here. Um, yeah, Mike Jones stepped down. Yeah, your guys is filing of individuals, or unless they're new from the seven tennis or candy camp or whatnot, but. Jason, Carmen, uh, Lori, they've all won all kinds of stuff multiple times. But they, they were involved. Seventeen Scavenger Hunt was 46 days consecutive with live. So with giveaways every every day. So Mike Jones, you need to type hashtag let's get freaky. You guys, if you want your entry, you're here. Hi, Mike. Do you want to get that free entry? Of course he does. Talk. Mike Jones wants that free shit. Mike Jones? Yeah. Okay, yeah, hashtag let's get freaky, guys. There. Carmen. Hello. That's not Craig Carmen. That's a different Carmen. If that was too sexually forward, I, I do apologize. Kind of. <laughs> there we go. Mike fucking Jones. Mike Jones. Who? We got, we got three to ten in there. Come on, guys. I'm probably one of them. You're one of them? <laughs> yeah, I'm one of them because I'm watching it live to see the comments. So, hashtag, let's get freaky. Yeah, I'm going to let you handle that because I'm actually just on my phone, so I'm not even seeing it on screen oh, yeah, or anything. No I want about 700 worth of stuff from the 710. Ah, oh, there you go. Are you sure it wasn't $710 worth of stuff? Hell yeah. Uh, we like theme related stuff. 
Jason says he's always freaky. He's uh, he's fun to talk with. That's for sure. And we got some great characters, uh, and then all about helping the community. So it's uh, it's the way it should be. Yeah, your scavenger hunts are really something else, man. I caught the tail end of the uh, 710, and that's the first, you know, well, I came in around Memorial Day, so you know exactly when I found you. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, dude, that was fun. I caught the little tail end of it, dude, and it was it's something else, man. If, if y'all have not seen the 410 and the 710 scavenger hunts, are, are you going to do those again? Oh, yeah, those will be consecutive. That's they'll what be I every, thought. They'll be every year. They're, they're... They're happening every year. So yeah, so if people is, aren't involved with that, get involved with that. That is that event is amazing. Yeah, the goal is as a company is these little events as they see it's happening through this year is come next year when the all my marketing expense has been been used up for the year. You know, I'm hitting them I'm hitting them six months beforehand and coming in at the beginning of the year. That's a whole different animal. Um, a lot of these concerts, it's to be, it's going to be to be involved in everything, and it's like it's a year campaign. That one campaign goes to the next campaign, goes to the next campaign, uh, and it's four twenty scavenger hunt, seven ten scavenger hunt, and then twenty five days of Canna, which will be happening as well. It's going to be a Christmas advent calendar, and wow. it's going to have some fun little twists to it. Uh, those will be every year, while the Great American Grow Off is two times a year. And they run simultaneously behind while the other events. So there's never ending engagement and content on a level that they've not, they haven't seen. And it's wow, from, dude, that guys, sounds really you awesome. You know, and then it's having little tools to follow up with. You got to, re- you know, any companies that are listening, they need reviews. It's a real reputation. R e r e p dot i o. System to go get reviews reach out and say, hey, did you like this? And they say, fuck yeah, I did. You know, or you, you word it right and say, here's a link to give your review because you said you wanted to. So feel so click, you know, click this to share to the world about your experience. People like that. Individuals, yeah. you can say they don't care what other people think, but they still like what other people think, good or bad. It's the yeah. feedback. True, yeah, so, feedback. And people, like, real, they like feedback. Some dwell on the negative, some despise the negative, some love it. And then it goes the same as positive. Normally negative effects be looked at way more. You know, I give you, that's why they say do a compliment sandwich. Start with a good thing where you need some improvement and end with a good thing. Right? And it's that psychological level of people are fucking soft. <laughs> And but you gotta you gotta work with it and deal with it and still move forward in a positive way and grow together. Yeah. But a lot of like like Lori, if she asks you something, she's asking you because she wants the truth. She don't want to hear something you want. It's just because she wants you to say something. That's you know she makes some of she does edibles and stuff. And if banana bread tastes like shit. I'm gonna ask her if she made it with shit <laughs> because she knows me. She'll think, you know, she'll, it'll be it'll be great, but she'd want that type of feedback from anybody. That's where a lot of I feel these products, especially the bigger names, get scared of the A/B testing possibilities that are happening in the Great American Grow Off, and with people helping the A/B testing, guess what? Bigger prizes. Yeah, it's more intricate. It's more work. It's going to be documented. Like the freak off, uh, if everyone coming in and listening, is uh, freakoff.com. And it's Grow Off the Freak Show. I'm trying to give away some tickets. We only got, uh, said we had 10 people live, but I only got three people that did hashtag let's get freaky. Wait, there's step down. Sorry, four. The four people so far, man. I guess nobody else wants to win, do they? Nobody wants to win. Well, Lori, if she's still in here, she's already won. And don't worry about that, Lori. If you win, we'll give it away to another person that you want to give it to. Yeah. If yeah, if you win and you don't want it, you get to pick. You know, like Craig, he was live. Uh, and he stayed live the whole time. And uh, 
oh, someone else was live, but I think he, he, he went he went somewhere. But it was like, okay, I'm getting ready to get off. Everybody that makes this hashtag wins. And he was the only one to do it, but everybody won. You know, I mean, he doubled his seat. So he's already got double coming. But he's here again. He can win again. That's the fun part with live. It didn't discriminate if you already won. Man, it's looking but like only live, five people. That... What's that? Oh, yeah, Craig Carmen. Only five people have entered, yeah. Yeah, I need to see people uh, get entered in this, man. It's all right. The ones that are here, the ones that are here. That's, uh, I would say stay live. Change, change is inevitable. And, um, yeah, I got numbers and stuff written down. I, I got to cross it off. Cross it off, it means I have to complete what I started. So I would just, I'd stay live for a little bit. We'll go for the 10. But we'll, yeah, you get to run your guys' show. Sure. You're, you guys are the captains of this ship. So when that time frame gets close, we're gonna run it. Someone's gonna win some. That's six and right there. Everybody else. So what's your thoughts, baby powder? I know you're new to the whole uh, breeding world. You know, after talking to uh, Mike here, what do you think about everything, man? Oh man, it's it's just so insane to me how much goes into uh, just the. Uh, the whole industry as a total, honestly, you know, growing up as someone who didn't smoke a lot of marijuana, just, you know, very, very cannabis. occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> they changed, they changed the word to cannabis. Oh, cannabis. Marijuana carries the negative connotation of grief or madness and bullshit that came with it. I, at least that's what they say. I don't care. You call it weed. I'm not supposed to call it weed. If I'm at a professional event, well, damn it, I want to go smoke some weed. It's a lot quicker than saying cannabis. So, yeah. sorry for correcting you. No, 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 no. You said I need to learn yes. these things because I am so new into it. But yeah, now, nah, man, just uh, the hey, insane you amount. Fun? I didn't know about 710 being a holiday until after the 420 event. So the 420 scavenger hunt, it was 15 days getting up. Twenty thousand dollars in prizes did in fifteen days. All the companies, there was like forty of them. Everything was done in fifteen days, and then given away. All right, it's not like some big campaign thing happened. It was the campaign. It was wild, and uh, I did. We needed an event. Twenty five days of Canna. I already had uh, had that brewing, and we needed an event in between. So we were looking for cannabis events. And somebody said, "Well, what about seven ten? And I'm like, "What the fuck is that?" And I'm like, "It's oil." <laughs> I'm like, how? I mean, I could see, I go, it's got to be, you got to be looking in a mirror. Because they're like, oh, backwards. I said, yeah, and in a mirror. I'm like, yeah. how fucking hard did you have to try to find another date? And I'm like, this is bullshit. So I w looked it up, and Wikipedia told me it was the second most celebrated holiday. And I said, holy shit. I have been smoking all these years and knew nothing about 710, even smoking concentrates, making my own concentrates. Pressing my own stuff. Do nothing of 710. And then we said, okay, there's the date. And that's when we started planning stuff. <laughs> but I didn't even know about 710. And I didn't either. I didn't know okay. about it until I seen your event. And then I, I, just like you, you know, I looked it up and I was like, wow, how did I miss this? Exactly. How did I miss it? But I acted like, oh, it's all 710. We're doing 710 salutes and dab hits every morning. And well, yeah, you got to make it all about it. But. I didn't know jack shit about it till probably beginning of March. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everybody's heard of 420, so, but 710, that's an all new one for people, man. Oh, we got we got a couple more that uh they came in. Like we got uh let's get freaky. Oh Martin Inglés. What's up, sir? I told you stay around. See, Martin, he says really, really good communication on things. And uh like most of us, life uh, typically kicks us in the balls. It's just how well we deal with it and move forward, right? And now he's got a chance to win something he didn't ever really think he was going to get into. Yeah. Well, we're drawing up on that one-hour line, man. So uh, you want to do the giveaway? Well, um, yeah, let me uh, finish this hit. What other numbers we got? Here did... Uh, <laughs> scroll through the comments. 
I stopped at Lindsay. <laughs> Let's see. We got Lindsay, Mike Jones, Flower of the World. We got Martin Inglis. All right. There's another one. So we got seven. Like it. Number of completions. So it's done. Those are the seven that's in. Uh, Baby Powder, do you have anybody else? Do you have a count of seven? No, 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 no. Yeah, seven looks good to me. I'm not seeing any more. All right, cool. Let me get this phone here. And I will go to Google. Get me a number, random number generator. And I will go live. I know you want me. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and swap over to Discord so we can see that. Live on Facebook in the free golf. And do the random number generator there. So, you guys, uh, Craig, you're number one. Jason, you're number two. Step down. Three. Carmen, four. Mike Jones, five. Lindsay, you're number six, sweetheart. And number seven is Martin Inglis. Now, Lindsay, here's something fun. All right, because you're a twin, too. Uh, for the theme relation on 9-11, because we understand seeds take up people's room. Some people, they're going to want to grow the best freak show. They're going to want a good male because they want to be like me and others, and they want to get that freaky genetic into other strains or get a purple one or get a blue one or a variation that has this fern awesomeness, right? These plants are unreal. So... Those people are going to drop off by. Uh, during the event, those that did buy in, you're going to get an opportunity to get more really cheap as well. And it's the incentive to those that are involved. And everybody else in the community is going to have the free giveaways to win stuff while they watch, while they vote. Because we've got to, we've got to work to encourage people to vote as well. And what better way to get them in than offering them, them a perk for voting? outside of the visual stimulation of watch, looking at these awesome plants and watching the community compete to win prizes but help each other through it. You're going to have ones that just stay away and do what they do. But the core that's already in there, the like I said, there's 94 that have registered. Uh, 45 of them have paid or reached out on the date of payment. Of those 45... Predominantly, all of them are the level of of a help, of a, at minimum a helper before themselves, right? They give and they learn by giving. So it's it's just a whole different mentality, a whole different feel on it. And that's what these sponsors are going to get to see that it's not a tooth and nail of who can do it. It's, we're encouraging everybody to do better. You know, the voting, you don't get to just vote for one. You get to vote for everyone but your own. That's yeah. it. You know, and there's individuals, they are going to do that. Most people will. They're going to go vote for every single person unless they really don't like it. And I'm going to encourage them. If you don't get votes, um, that's where they should be getting comments. Because... There will be ones that reach out and ask questions. What did you do here? What did you do here? My first question is going to be, did you have a grow diary? Did you use one of the systems? Did you use an Excel spreadsheet? Did you write it down in a notebook? Did you have a diary for your grow? And most of the answers for the ones that are going to have issues, 100% not going to be done. So... It's encouraged in certain ways to get better at it. It takes a little bit of work. But damn, the results are so worth it. So I'm going to hit the live button. You flip the screen. Flip it, flip. Um, no, I want to post it to. Jason is asking, uh, which grow diary is actually the best? Do you have a recommendation on that? Uh, what, what, of, of the ones that I've looked at, um, grow diaries itself is only on a computer. I, I like that one, growdiaries.com, uh, because 
how much information you can put in it. I don't like it. It's not an app. There is Grow with Jane. It is an app. I have not looked to see if it's got a system on the computer. Because as an app, it may have too much entries for some people. If your tech, you know, phone, your night can't work it really well, you would want to go with Bud, B U D. And it's a little orange icon with a white little leaf in it. And it's very simple. You can do up to 12 plants. It, basic information of what you want to put in. And you can submit it. Right? Uh, with all the pictures, what we encourage, regardless in a legal state or not, is to get a scrubber of the me metadata. We call it an EXIF, E X I F app. And it'll be an app that scrubs your picture, even though you said your phone and you told Facebook, you told all these other apps that you're not to use my location unless I'm using you. You know what I'm saying? Even, and then others where you even say that no location anytime that your pictures are still documenting in the me metadata. It's not showing up and registering on your phone, but on other layers of exactly where you were at. So I like to, I like to scrub all the pictures because I don't think any of that information needs to be out legal or not. Just there's no reason to put it out there. So it's a little bit more work, but it's for protection. And you go in, you click a couple buttons, you can select all kinds of them on the Apple store. It's, just EXIF. On Android, it's X's photo editor. And you can group, pick a big chunk of them. It comes in, it spits them right back out where they came from, but clean. Just like we're cleaning money. Like, it's, it comes down, like it's stupid. Yeah. And it cleans the picture, and you can post it, and you are, you know. So, growers that are still, you know, don't, are stuck in an illegal state or can't, are in a legal state and can't grow their own medicine states like that. All kinds of differences. Everywhere. It's going to constantly change as well. So we can only encourage you to follow your laws and know your own laws. That's it. Yeah. So, looks like we have... Those uh, I found about the, the better grow diaries. Looks like we have another entry here, Mitch. Sweet. Mitch Ubaldo? Uh, it just says Mitch, so I really don't know. That's all it says on YouTube, so... Yep, yep, I recognize this little picture there. That's Mitch Ubaldo. What up, Mitch? All right, lucky number eight. Came in, dude. He got in on time. Yep. Yeah, I tagged him in the two things. So, all right, random number generator. So we've got, did Lori ever? Lori, Lori, you're back. You never, you need. I don't yeah, like I, I was, I was going to actually. Tag. Hashtag let's get freaky, Lori, because number nine is much better than number eight. Yeah, let's do a little last call here. Anyone anyone not registered, let's go ahead and register now for this giveaway. Last Around call. It. Last call. Lori, I'm about to put you in. Do it, Lori. Hashtag <laughs> Lori. Uh, there it is. Perfect. There she is. That's my girl. <laughs> All right, we got nine of them. I think I figured out that I'm going live in the free cough. And there we are going live in the free cough. Camera. And go live. I didn't tag it or anything for speedy purposes. Yeah, if you guys want to see the roll, you can That's run over live. there and watch real quick. But he will have it for proof. <laughs> Yeah, and it'll be posted on the Freak Off page. So you guys, uh, if you're joining live on the Freak Off, you should have been in YouTube, uh, live on the podcast. My two boys over there, Timmy Turner, Baby Powder. It's Two Bro Smoke. Two Bro Smoke. And yeah. uh, we're going to be smoking the giveaways right now with a registration entry into the Freak Off. So it's... Some genetics, an opportunity to document your grow, get education as you go along, and win a shit ton of prizes in the 16 weeks it's going to be of growing it. So, we got nine in there. 
they're not part of it, they need to get signed up now. I mean that that it's going to be. I mean, one hell of an event. You know, everything you do you do is just is so big. You know, it's just unbelievable. When he says there's going to be prizes, he's going to make it rain. I mean, he's going to make it rain. Right. If he's if he's on our podcast giving away <laughs> stuff today, he's going to make it rain. So y'all better get signed hey, up hey, for this. Baby powder. How how many times should I click this generate button? Uh, I mean, I don't know. How many? You're just looking to give away one, right? Yeah, dude. But sometimes you want to click the button three times to pick the winner. What, what number? Like? Refresh right, it let's, and stuff, yeah, let, 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 let's go lucky, lucky number six. <laughs> Lucky number six, you guys. Number seven was what it's starting at. It's not a click. It's pretty that. So that was probably the winner from the last giveaway, seven tenth scavenger hunt. We're gonna do seven. But so one click, two click, three click, four click, five click, and this is the winner. Six on six. So Lindsay, 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 number six. There we go. So, Lindsay, you know how it goes. Email Mary Jane at the freak off. Put nice. uh, two bro smoke in the subject line and give me your address. You know, I already have it, but records, uh, if somebody else comes through and they're going to be managing all this for me, then you can have it all for them. So, get the uh, information to me. And I'm turning it off live on Facebook. Congrats, Lindsay. And with it being theme based, Lindsay, um, I'm only going to make people drop two seeds. So that's going to be the mandatory. It says that it's suggested that five are dropped in the uh, the freak off, but with grow space, plant count, certain things like that, there's variables that we are considerate of. So it's only going to be mandatory to drop two seeds. So, Lindsay, you and Lisa could both be in the free talk and i absolutely support that oh you yeah because you register. said they were twins mm -hmm. lisa hasn't registered yet Lindsay. so say hey girl i won these seeds for you you got to register though i don't think she's registered she might have already but you know nice and nice congrats. and they're gonna be uh goal is uh if anyone here is live that didn't win, if you guys, uh, 24 hours, so 8, 8, 10, oh, it's almost 7, 10 somewhere, guys. Heat up your rig, do a 7, 10 salute. And anybody that's salute. live that has not, that has not purchased or paid, you know, it, it has, uh, submitted your registration fee because that's the legal thing. The seeds are free. We're just part of the registration. They got to have them. It's the registration and paperwork processing is what the cost is for. And coordinating the prizes and paying for the shipping in the prizes. But people don't understand. There's a lot of cost in shipping. You wouldn't want to know what was spent in the past five, eight months. It, because before the 420, it was six months of reaching out into groups to get all the packs out in everywhere. And so it just timed out right. Things happened right. People got all their packs and all these groups while the other stuff was going on. And we can entertain the concept that in the 90 days, we got 3 million engagements. Wow. It's pretty freaking insane. Yeah. So a lot of organic, but it's systematic placement and cross-platform publishing and having individuals like Lori. There's many more. I just picked on Lori. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep uh, giving her compliments. She might get, she might get too hard on herself. <laughs> well, it seems like she's always there. You know, she's a pretty good fan. You know, I mean, every time I've been on live, Lori's been there. You can't get rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want to. Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> so yeah, any, uh, any, any time you guys go live. Uh, you know, anytime you get a get a show on and stuff, uh, just get back a hold with me and be happy to do some giveaway things while you have other guests as well. How often do you guys do your show? Once a week? Yeah, yeah, we're going to be trying to come for. in uh, once a week. Yeah, tell them about it, Powder. Awesome. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just trying to come in usually once a week on Sundays. I know like a few a uh, few guests that we're trying to get on aren't really available during weekends, so we'll have to figure out how we'll work them in, but yeah, we're we're looking to do at least one episode on Sunday. That's what we're going to stick to for sure, but there's probably going to be, you know, bonus content in between. But for sure, once a week on Sundays, that's when we're going to come on, you know, live on the YouTube and bring it to you just like this, you know. Oh, yeah. I look forward to all the shows, man. Yeah, we look forward for you, uh, you know, hanging out with us, you know, and we definitely got to get you back and do some more stuff. You know, I'm interested because you're always having something new, you know, so I want to definitely keep up with you on everything, you know. Hell yeah. I'm happy to, uh, to entertain on it. And before we go out, just a shout out to MJ Arsenal, MJArsenal.com. Uh, I'm working on a freak off discount code. Hopefully it'll be available here tomorrow. And uh, if everything goes as well, it's pretty significant. It'd be a nice chunk off. At least if they, they go from what I off, I wanted, I asked for 25% off. But that's, that's, a, that's a big chunk. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the response is 15 and then I'm cool with that. We already had Tim, which is great, but you always, the more you do for company, uh, the more rights you have to recognize your work. And, you know, things like this are benefits to him as much as it benefits to us. So that's what collaborating, that's why it exists, because both parties benefit. Yeah, and, for uh, sure. Jared's the most unreal on it. Homegrown Cannabis Co., of course. Foop. Uh, awesome product. I tried it. I'm working on uh, getting in with all these products on a level to uh, being a wholesaler for each and every one of them. So we'll have discount codes for you guys and be able to actually get you product cheaper than the products that you were getting with the discount code we were getting for you. So I found a way to make it even make it even cheaper for the consumer nice. because the goal is to, to have all these products like 420, Great American Grow Off Registration, the 420 Scavenger Hunt of uh, products and things that people, you know, I've seen, they, they just be blown away. I've seen, uh, what was it, what huge breeder, and I fucking forgot their name, but they just had their million follower or something like that. And they're giving away $155,000 worth of stuff and i got oh. looking at it it was it, it, you know it's awesome and impressive but it's like uh it's the largest wholesalers in the hydroponic world they have a handful of products that's it and it's just those products and they're good products but it's just that I and mean, they make so much revenue on it because the quality of the products is that they're the largest they don't have the biggest selection Right. So it's to be able to have those they're the largest for a reason and they and they, they don't have to focus on anything else. But they're most of them are commercial. And the everyday grower, unless they're doing their due diligence, they don't have the opportunity for these products. So I'm gonna be able to get these products and offer it to them through what we do. And, nice. Yeah, it's gonna be, I mean, the Great American Grow Up next year is gonna be unbelievable because everybody's gonna be working together for the same goal, and you know, hopefully it gets big enough where we could say like the top winner, grand prize winner of everything with physical votes and so on and so forth, and you know, extend to you know, no matter how long we want the voting and things to take, we want it fairly quick because that's the expensive, but it comes in, top winner gets like $25,000. How awesome would that be? And all it is uh -huh. is getting these sponsors that are the largest in the world to be. Man, that and would be like almost life changing. You know, 25 grand? That would be it. serious. Exactly. Exactly. You know, but then it'd be could come with, like, the main thing is a filled out grow diary. That would be the optimum. And that's where a lot of people are going to say, I don't want people knowing my secrets. Well, you don't have to put those in. 
Yeah. You could be creative and write what you do, not lie, but you don't have to tell your secrets. Me, I want you to know my secret. I want you yeah. to throw them. Like, it's not a proprietary thing to keep away from the community. It's what you should give the community to make it a better quality community. For sure, for sure. Yeah, well, I definitely want to uh, stay tuned and be a part of the community, man. Like I said, you know, right now, as far as, you know, everything that's out there, you know, as, as far as events to, you know, get and be a part of, you, you've got it going on, you know. And I, I think we need to encourage, you know, everybody just go towards this, you know. If you want to have a good time, want to be a part of something, want to learn, want to have a chance to win real prizes, you know, let's do it. You know, it's like the Pokemon League, you know, that that's – you know, it's just amazing, you know, the the group and the family that you've generated with all this, you know. Exactly. And then you guys live here with us still. Uh, share away this episode after it's out. I yeah, for sure. We need to get to some more subscribers. Yeah, get some more subscribers here. We can do, uh, once we hit 100 subscribers, uh, we'll set it in live now so people know. We'll do a uh, 100 subscribers to be able to a uh, T6 AC Infinity T6 inline duck fan once we hit 100 subscribers so oh shit and uh just let people know that and rock and roll we'll get you guys get, get word of two bro smoke out there you get just, and you guys get to take advantage of all the new other genetic companies and the stuff that we talked about that the, the community doesn't get to know yet you'll you get to know when it's more ironed down and uh, when the date is to come in and listen. So, yeah, you guys for sure. Keep an eye out on the two bro smoke. They got some. Uh, they got some heat coming. Yeah, we're definitely going to be uh, bringing some new people on and some new stuff and just anything and everything. You know, it's gonna. You know, it's gonna come out on our show. We want to really, you know, bring a voice to the community. So that's what we're going to be here doing. We're going to bring it live every Sunday. So stick with me and my brother. You know, we're, we're going to see what's going on. But uh, I guess we're going to wrap up this episode. We've been going live for about an hour and 20 minutes or something. So I think it's been a successful show, man. It, it was really great to get to ask you the questions and get the in, you know inside information to the Honeycomb Hydro, all the plans, all the, you know, the, the secrets behind the lineage there. I just I, I love that type of information. It was great to really get a you know a different perspective on you, your company, and what you do. You know. No, oh, absolutely. And then uh, I'm gonna do what it, uh, I, uh, we like to do in the live shows. I'm gonna put a song on here, and we got two minutes until 4:20 somewhere. We might as well partake. I think. What do you okay, think? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll end it on 4:20 then. We'll uh we'll party down till 4:20 and we'll give a big shout out and that'll be it. Yeah. Perfect. Well, here is uh this guy here. His name's Freeman Belmont, and you can find him on YouTube. The Quizilla Bands Restruct, R E S T R U C T. Uh, we saw this song here. I'm playing. He's got a couple. Of, play part of it because they're not released yet but he uh this dude's raw he does everything he plays all of it edits writes sings and we've got one minute before 20 so go I'm ahead sorry. and let's have some change change is inevitable right i'm gonna jump to the solo and, and it's not playing well Heating my rig down, so let's do this one more. I don't hear it, but yeah. Uh, it's, oh, it's playing there. What is going on? Uh -oh. Technical difficulty. I'm wondering, is it because I have Facebook Live on page? Probably so, yeah. We got all kind of screens and stuff open, so there's no telling. Nope, it's not letting me play it, so there's something bypassing. So it's not meant to be. Oh, well. Wow. Not meant to be, man. 
I've hey, heard it. I can it. attest. It's good. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. His uh, producer is the producer, George Michaels, so, and business partner. Box Tone Records. Very low-key on social media because one of the owners was George Michael before he passed. Oh, when you're wow. that person, you can do a lot of things. The other owner, is, his name is Mark Byron Lane, and uh, the other owner is Dion Estes. He's the bass player of Wham. Now, Weston, when you go and uh, look, it'll, uh, sorry, Timmy, Timmy, um, it will, you'll recognize him. You'll be like, oh, I've seen that dude on posters and shit, because we're just yeah. the right age demographic. So if you look up Dion Estes, E-S-T-U-S, you're going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, all right, I think we're yeah, winding down to it. Guys. And, uh, yeah, anytime, man, you have to come back. Oh, yeah. Well, all right, man. Well, it's been a show, so I guess we're going to sign out. Till next week, it is Two Bro Smoke. See you guys later. Keep it real. <laughs>